Equipped with an innovative lightweight suspension system, durable Dyneema construction, and a wealth of gear attachment points, the Xped Thunder 50 is a great option for alpinists or ounce counting backpackers. Let's take a closer look at what makes the pack so unique. Let's start by turning the pack around and having a look at Xped's T-Rex suspension system. First thing that jumped out at me when I saw the Thunder Pack was how little seems to be there as far as the suspension system is concerned. It's very clean. Um, and again, at a first look, might suggest that this pack isn't capable of the load hauling that it very much is. Um, the reason it is, you've got a an aluminum stay that runs from the top of the pack down through the bottom. There's a little bit of additional support here at the very top of the pack and also behind the lumbar padding and the, the wrapped padded hip belt as well that together give this the rigidity it needs to carry the 3,000 cubic inches uh, worth of gear and clothes that it can carry. Um, it's got padding here high on the harness and it's got that lower padding we already referenced, but it skips it where frankly it's just not needed. That keeps the weight of this pack down under three and a half pounds. Also gives a little room for air to move and circulate as well. Um, so Xped's done a really good job of having the support where you need it and stripping it away where you do not. Something else worth pointing out here on the suspension system is its torso adjustability. By Flipping down the lumbar pad there, you can loosen some of the straps and you'll see that that harness lifts and lowers along that aluminum stay. So regardless of your torso length, you can really dial in fit. Make sure um, that Thunder 50 is fitting you appropriately. Let's go ahead and look at the organizational features of the Thunder 50. I'm gonna flip that pack back around so we can look at the face of the pack. It is lidded, it's a top loading pack, so undo the straps here so we can take a look at that. There is storage on the lid. There's a zippered um, pocket underneath the lid and then a large zippered pocket on the top of the lid. So a lot of nice storage there. That can be removed entirely if you simply don't need that additional storage. You wanna travel a little lighter. There is a spin drift collar that cinches down here at the top of the pack. So the contents of the pack bag uh, remain protected even if you don't have that lid with you. Um, that opens up quite broadly. So it's easy to get gear in and out of the Thunder 50. In addition to that top loading access, you do also have panel access on, that, on the pack. Um, opening that Velcro flap the Velcro here, and there's actually zippers that run the length of the face of the pack here to get you into the interior of the pack bag. So, ton of storage inside there, and whether you're going in through the top or you're using that panel loading access, you can really easily get to the internal contents of the pack. A lot of times on a pack like this, it really it's through the top or that's it. And things can tend to get a little buried on the interior. So a nice feature set there. Um, big stretch pocket here on the face of the pack. You put all kinds of layers or other gear in there. You will also have stretch um, water bottle pockets on the side. You can put other gear in there as well. You've got large zippered stretch pockets on either side of the hip belt. So just another great place to store gear and keep that gear close at hand. You do have trekking pole uh, or tool attachments here. You've got ice axe loops at the bottom of the pack. The daisy chain gear attachment points that run up either side of the pack. If you look at the compression straps on the pack um, that help cinch down the load, so if you don't have this full, it's still making sure that everything stays nice and secure. There's a lot of extra strap here that XPED includes. So you can run those straps um, in a number of different layouts, all kinds of ways to lash gear to this pack, to carry more externally than it looks like the pack's capable of in terms of its internal capacity. 
uh, really smart feature set there and gives this pack a ton of versatility. With its innovative, lightweight, and durable construction, and all those well thought out gear attachment points, organizational features, the XPED Thunder 50 really is a versatile option for alpine climbing, backpacking, or even day hiking.